He's a show. Everybody else is an act. He had such a distinct style. He was so self-deprecating. I'm John. I'm your Slim Fast representative for the evening. He was like a force of nature. When he rocked a room, every person is howling. Please welcome John Hinnett. He had that cherubic face with the glint in the eye. He had gotten his accounting degree and was working at the bank. I was here the night that John first came on stage. It was one of those things that you just, you knew it. What do you think of the new suit? Yeah. I think it makes me look fat. <laughs> He had a fanatical fan following. It's like the Beatles or something. And we were selling out venues all over the place. He was making 20,000 a weekend. John could become a major television star. He imploded. Every comedian has a self-destructive streak. John is a guy who overindulged in everything. Would just like hammer pills and then eat them. And I'm like, what are those? I don't know, but you'll feel wonderful. He thought that if he lost weight, it would affect his career, because he's known as the big guy. I'm actually writing a book, Around the World in 80 Buffets. John was always wanting to get better. It's prescription drugs, which are pretty much the number one problem in America. And John became right in the middle of it. One trainer took me to a 60-minute workout, and he said, once you start, you get addicted. I don't think so. We've lost a lot of people in comedy. John isn't the first friend that we've lost. Great minds, but tortured souls. Well, I have a lot of friends that came out tonight to see me be 50. Well, let's all meet at my 100th, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the memories.